Hello everyone, welcome today again to another episode of uh, Excel. Today we're going to learn how to use if function. So let's say for example you want to calculate uh, the age of these people, you group them either let's say for example adult or young adult based on their age by using if function. For example, as you can see mine, person who is going to be greater than 18 years it is an adult, it must return to me an adult, or if it's less than 18 years, it should return young adult. So how do you do this in Excel? Let us start from the scratch. So I'm going to start from the scratch by showing you all this. I will delete this. And let us start. So how do you calculate this? So for, for, for I to start, I am going to use an i function and where do I get it? There is this one function here. So I click, you click on this one and you check here. If i if function is not here, all you just need to do is that you need to search that i if function. So I search mine, here it is. So all I just need to do, I just need to click OK. So here it is the criteria. i if function returns three. Uh, uh, it has three criteria. For example, when you test, you look here. Uh, the logic test, or what you need to insert there. For example, I want to insert by basing on the edge by saying, let's use B3 as a reference. So if B3, you want to type if it is greater than, let me say, 18 years. If it is greater than 18, you press 18. So, which kind of value should it return here? I want to press if this person is greater than 18, it must display adult. And what if is not greater than 18 years? I need it to display young adult. This is how you use if function and then you press OK. So as you can see, because this one is greater than 18, it has plus adult. All you need, you just need to autofill all of them like this. As you can see, those who are adult, they are greater than 18 years. Also this one greater than 18. But these others, young adult, because their values is less than 18 years. So that is how you use if function in Excel. So let us meet in the next tutorial of, on how you can use Excel function furthermore. So thank you.